Uh, let's look at another one. The gender of the fetus. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He told that how a baby becomes a boy or a girl. Well, people just used to think that, you know, yeah, it's Allah who decides whether it's a boy or a girl. But how exactly something becomes a boy or a girl? We, we know that, you know, it's like the X and X become girl and X and Y become boy, the chromosome level. But Rasulullah he gave much more detailed information than that. He said that, you know, if the man's discharge comes over that of a woman, it becomes by Allah's permission uh, male. And if it's a woman's discharge comes over that of a man, then the child becomes female by Allah's permission. So what really happens is that the, the males and females fluid, they have acidity associated with them. So if you remember chemistry, what you studied in school, every liquid that has, it, it has acidic level and the pH level that we call it, right? The 1 to 7 is acidic and like 7 to 14, the pH value is like basic or alkaline. So what happens is the woman's fluid, it is acidic in nature, pH value 1 to 7. Right? And the man's fluid, it is 7 to 14, right? So what happens when these uh, fluids meet, you know, it depends which one overcomes what. So, you know, acid and uh, alkaline, they, they, they combine and the result is something different. So depending on the chemical nature of that, uh, the result will be formed. So in the case of the baby, what happens is if the result of these uh, mixture is acidic, then it will be a girl because it is now uh, resembling with the female but if as Rasulullah SAW said that if the uh, man's discharge comes over that of a woman basically meaning the alkaline nature of that combined fluid is more it will be a male so that's what Rasulullah SAW has indicated to us <coughs> but again the who decides the gender it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even you, you just have the information how it happens. But again, the chemical you know, properties of all these mixtures of this fluid is all controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot really say, I want to increase acidity or decrease it. It's all in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then physicians cannot control until this day how they should go about it. <coughs> 